Hi, Scott Shepard again, photo media instructor at Lake Area Technical Institute. And this is a tutorial that will show you an alternative way to uh, import photos into Flickr. Uh, <clears throat> we've learned how to export from Aperture and then take those photos and import them by dragging and dropping or using the Finder tool in Flickr to import. But in this tool, I'm going to show you how um, Aperture has some built-in uh, functionality in terms of exporting things to directly to Flickr. Uh, the nice thing about this, of course, is that you don't have to go through the intermediate step of exporting them to a folder and then importing them from that folder into Flickr. There are some drawbacks, one of which is you do not have as fine a control over uh, the size of the picture that gets imported uh, nor, as far as I can tell, can you put a watermark uh, that is inherent in the way you've got um, aperture set up to uh, export photos. But anyway, uh, it does have its uses. Now, for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, Preferences. And um, there is a preference called Accounts. And now I happen to have two accounts already. Uh, there are a variety of different accounts that we can add here that will allow us to directly um, export photos. Uh, Facebook is one, and that might be attractive to you. SmugMug is a mainstay in terms of my um, e-commerce. So I've got a plugin for, uh, for Smug, SmugMug. Uh, I paid for that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to add Flickr. And once we've done that, it's going to ask us to set it up. It actually is going to take us to our Flickr account. Uh, it would be nice if you're already logged into your uh, Flickr account. And then I get a dialog that looks like this. It says, Aperture Uploader wants to link to your Flickr account. And it will talk about a variety of things that it wants to do. And um, the answer is say, OK, I'll, okay, I'll authorize it. Okay, so now I've just allowed Flick, <laughs> Aperture to have access to Flickr. And that's all there is to it. Now, <clears throat> right away it shows me that I've got some shared accounts. I've got one kind of called iCloud, and now I've got this one called Flickr, although it's a blank page. Uh, now, <laughs> Given that I have already shared things from other Aperture uh, libraries, it's going to go about and populate my Aperture um, page with all of the things that I've sent to Flickr from Aperture, if that makes sense to you. Uh, we're not going to sit and watch this fill in, although it is pretty amazing. The other thing that I would like to do is to have you go up to, let's, uh, by the way, let's get away from this page and go back to the page from which I'm going to be exporting a photo. It's a photo shoot of a uh, senior from a few years ago. The one that I'm going to export is this uh, sepia toned one. But I also want you to notice the toolbar up here. And you may have already discovered this, but it is infinite. Well, not infinitely, but it is um, pretty amazingly custom customizable. And if I right click on that, I'm going to get a drop down menu. And the thing that I want to pick is customize toolbar. Everything you see here can actually be uh, put into your toolbar. Um, the one that we're going to look for, and I had found it earlier, is this one right here. And while I'm at it, I might as well put the Facebook icon up there and Smug Mug as well. And there are other things that you might find worth putting in your toolbar that will be a one-click um, function. Uh, why not put the loop there too? We'll say done. Okay, now the goal here is to get this picture to go to Flickr. And so we're going to highlight it. Uh, we're going to, once we've done that, now we could do this with several pictures. In other words, um, we could 
Command Select. <laughs> but we just want to do it with this one picture. I'm going to click the Flickr button. And I get a dialog that says, what do I want to do with this? Do I want to create a new set? It will let me do that, and it will name the set after the um, library that it's coming from, or from the album that it's coming from. Actually, what I want to do, holy cow, uh, I want to send this to a set called Megan. There it is. Uh, you will not have to deal with that because you don't have that many sets. Um, let's see, I had some other choices here. I want to show you something here. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. The other choices are what size images do I want? It'll give me web images, optimized images, or actual size images. Now, I'm into importing full resolution images because, as I think I've said in other uh, screencasts, that I'm using Flickr also as a backup tool for my uh, for my images. So I'm going to do that. And I'll go back and find the Megan M set and then click Publish. Now I'm going to sit back and let it do its thing. Uh, if you're noticing on mine, I don't know if you can read it, but it says synchronizing right there. So it's exporting this to Aperture or to Flickr and it's going to put it into that set that I created already. And it's done, I believe. Now let's see if it worked. Go back to PhotoStream. And there's that image right there. If we go to Sets, if we're lucky, it's going to be inside the set. And the one thing that I would like you to check on uh, this file, or that I want to check on this file, is to find out who has access to it. Right now, it's full public access, and I'm going to just shift that to uh, friends and family. I'm going to change the copyright to um, all rights reserved. And having done that, we're good to go. So anyway, that's a cool way to import things right from Aperture. Uh, there's a lot in digital photography that's about workflow, and of course, if you're publishing your photos to a website like Flickr that lets you share them with the world or with friends or with specific customers. This is a very, very simple tool that lets you do that. Thanks for listening.